Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Photoshop. In today's tutorial, we'll see how to create this really cool multiple exposure effects that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. But before we're gonna start doing that, make sure to subscribe and comment and leave a like. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's go and open Photoshop and then let's go to our file and let's open the model image in here. All right, so the first thing that uh, I want to do is to cut the model from the background. So I will go to select and choose subject. All right, as you can see, we have our selection, but we still need to refine it a little bit more, especially with the hairs and also this area. So let's go back to select and choose select and mask. And in here, we're going to use the refined edge. It's the second one in here. Uh, so make sure that in here it's set to the plus sign. And then we're going to zoom in a little bit to the hair area. And using a fairly small brush, we're going to refine the hairs just a little bit like this. All right, I think the hair looks better now. Uh, but I want to add a little bit of uh, options in here in the edge detection for example I want to put the radius to like 3 or 4 pixels so let's keep it 3 and also I want to smooth uh, the selection a little bit so I'm gonna put the smooth to like 12 or 10 and I will press ok alright now we have our selection now we'll just apply a layer mask like this and we have our selection alright next I want to wide this uh, canvas a little bit so I'm gonna press C for the crop tool and then I will take this and put it a little bit into the right just to make it a little bit wider and the same for the other one just like that all right I think it looks good and I would want to click on this check mark all right but the problem as you can see in here we have a missing part of the arm of the, or the shoulder in here so we need to fix that uh, but first, uh, I'm gonna apply this layer mask. I mean, I can convert it to smart objects, but I think uh, this is a good selection. So I will just right click on the layer mask and choose apply layer mask. All right, next, I will switch to the pen tool by pressing P in the keyboard. And I will go to this edge in here and I will make a, a path just like this, following these edges of the shoulder or the arm because I'm going to duplicate it and then I will copy it and uh, flip it horizontally and they will create what looks like the the rest of the shoulder or the arm all right so I will close this path like this and then I will right click and choose make selection or you can just press control or command enter and it will create a selection all right, now I'm going to press Ctrl or Command C to copy it. And then I'm going to press Ctrl Shift or Command Shift V to paste it on place. All right, now I'm going to, as you can see, we have a new layer on top with what we copied. So we're going to press Ctrl or Command T to enter the transform mode. And then we're going to right click and choose flip horizontal. And this will flip it horizontally. And as you can see, we have what looks like uh, the rest of the, the shoulder. So let me zoom in a little bit and align it with the other edge in here. Or maybe I can press Ctrl or Command and select this edge in here. And then I will just drag it a little bit just like that. Alright, I think it looks good. So I'm going to press on this uh, check mark to commit the change. And as you can see, we have what's look like the rest of the, the shoulder. But we still need to fix it a little bit more using the clone stamp tool in this line in here. I mean, we're going to use a lot of uh, blending mode to blend this, but let's just fix it a little bit. So I'm going to create a new layer on top and I will hit S on my keyboard to open the clone stamp tool. And in the clone stamp tool, I have everything set to 100% and also make sure that you have in here all layers, not just uh, current or below. All right, once we did that, I'm just gonna zoom in and then I'm gonna press Alt or Option to copy the information from here. 
and then I will just paste it just like this. All right, so hide this edge, and the same goes in here. All right, so I think it looks decent. I mean, it's not perfect, but it will be blended, so it's okay. All right, now we're gonna merge everything together. So I'm gonna select this first layer, and I will press on the hold shift on my keyboard, and I will select the last layer in here, and this will select them all. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl Command E to merge it, or you can right click and choose merge layers, and this will merge them together. And let's call this model. All right, now I want to add a, a new background. So let's go to adjustment and choose solid color. For now, we'll just give it this light color. And then I will call it BG for background. And I will take it and put it down the model layer. And I will delete this layer mask. All right, now it's time for us to open our first image that we will blend with this. So let's go to our file and let's start with this one i'm gonna take it and open it in here and i will one click on this check mark i mean there is something that is very important in here i mean these two images they are they are working very good uh, with each other because this is a very clear image that is separated from the background as you can see and also this one it has this uh, very white area in here that we will work very good with this like a silhouette that we have in here but still it's not actually a very dark silhouette so you're gonna keep in mind that you need uh, this kind of images to work together i mean you can create them using adjustments but it's better for for uh, for this effect to work if they are something like this that they are very clear separation between the background and the sky or the wall or something like that all right so for this image i will change the blending mode of this to lighten or let me see actually i think screen it will work good i mean most of the cases lighten or screen work very good in double exposures so for this one i think screen because i like this feature that they are not very strong of the rocks in here all right, so I'm going to keep it like this and then I'm going to press Ctrl Command T and I will put it down a little bit to somewhere like here, maybe. Because I really want these rocks to be somewhere in here. And also I want this to look like, uh, like the definition of the neck. So somewhere around here, I think would be good maybe I can even make it a little bit smaller yeah I think something like this I think it will be okay all right something like that I think it's good yeah something like this I think definitely I like it more all right so I will keep it like that and I will one click on this check mark and let's call this screen now I want uh, actually this edge to be completed all the way in here only this edge because this one we're gonna apply another image for this part so I'm gonna only focus on this edge in here so to do that we're gonna duplicate the same layer by pressing ctrl command j and for this one I would change the blending mode of it to lighten because I can see when uh, I keep it on screen you can see the edges they are a little bit too much so we'll change it to lighten and let's call this lighten and then I'm gonna press ctrl command T and uh, using the same position I, I'm gonna press shift and drag it on top just like this just to have the rocks in here show more maybe a little bit up like that yeah, something like this and I will one click on this check mark and then I'm gonna apply a, a black layer mask on this lighten layer by pressing alt or option and one click on this layer mask and as you can see we have a black layer mask all right now I'm gonna try to reveal a little bit in here 
So I'm gonna switch to my brushes by pressing B. And the brush I'm using is a soft round brush, 0% hardness and 100% opacity and flow. So because we have a black layer mask, we need a white a foreground color to show uh, with the layer mask. If you don't have it in default, you can just press D and this will bring it in default. And if you have it black in your foreground color, you can just one click on this double arrow in here. We can press X to switch between them. So I'm going to keep white in the foreground color and I will reveal this part in here that I want. Just like this. All right, something like that. All right, now the reason why we don't we don't see in here because we have the other layer under this one, which is okay. We're gonna apply a layer mask on this uh, one in here, a white one. And then I'm gonna switch black because I want to hide. And I will hide this part in here. Also this edge. And also this one in here, just like this. Maybe delete a little bit in this part. I mean, for this, I think I will put the hardness set to 100% because I want to have a solid edge, just like that, to blend everything together. All right, I think it looks good now. And we'll do the same for the other one. We'll go back to the screen one. And I will just keep it like this because we're gonna change this area anyway. So let me just make sure that in here is everything is, is deleted. Maybe they're not that much, we need to have a little bit of lights in here. All right, something like this. I think it looks good. All right, so I'm only interested in this part because in this part, we're gonna change it. So just I'm only interested in this part for now. All right, so I think it looks good. Now I want to reveal the girl even more. I want it to be look uh, solid not faded with the light or anything. So to do that, we're gonna actually make a copy of the screen layer by pressing Ctrl Command J again. And then I will call this girl. And I will put it on top of everything. And I will delete this layer mask. And then I'm gonna change the blending mode of this to normal. And I will apply a black layer mask by pressing Alt or Option and one click on this layer mask. And again, using white as my foreground color to reveal, I will select the same brush, but this time I'm gonna press five to put the opacity to 50%, and I will reveal the curl. Just like this to look more visible. Maybe not that much in this area, and also in this area. All right, something like this, I think it's fine. All right, so I think I'm happy with this. All right, so I like this. Now I want to enhance this light a little bit. So to do that, we can actually select the lighting uh, layer and also the screen layer. So I'm gonna select the lighting layer and I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command and select the lighting, uh, the screen layer. And this will select them both. And after that, I'm gonna press Ctrl Command J to make a copy of them. And I will put them on top. And let me see. I will select them both again and I will change the blending mode of them to normal. And I will make everything in here visible for both of the both layers. Because I want this to be black. Alright, so something like this it it's fine because I'm only interested in this part in here anyways. So let me just make sure that this edge is deleted. So I will just delete this edge in here. Alright, something like that. And then I will select them both 
by pressing Ctrl and select the second layer. And I'm gonna press Ctrl Command E to merge them, just like that. And then I'm gonna change the blending mode of these to either Color Dodge. I think Color Dodge is too much, so I'm gonna choose Screen. Yeah, I think Screen is good. All right, I think I like the screen one and I will put down the opacity a little bit too, like 60% or 50%. All right, I think it looks okay because I really like this uh, part in here. All right. Now I know that we have this edge that we need to fix. So to do that, I'm gonna put everything in a group. I mean, not now. Later, I will put everything in a group, but first I want to delete a little bit from, from this part. So I'm just going to create a layer mask on this light and copy. And I will use the same brush with 0% hardness and I will delete from this part in here. Just like that. And let's call this light. Alright, now it's time for us to open the other image that we will blend in this part in here. So let's go to... Uh, this image in here, one that we'll be using, and I will one click on this check mark, and I will call this second blend. All right, for this, uh, I think I will first uh, put down uh, the opacity or actually make it black and white. So I'm gonna press Control Shift U to desaturate it for us to follow the colors of the sky mostly and then i'm gonna press ctrl command l and this will open the level adjustment and i want the sky to be more whiter in here and this one a little bit darker just like this and the piece okay all right now i'm gonna change the blending mode of this to let's see lighten yeah let's keep it lighten and then I'm going to press Ctrl Command T and I will make it a little bit smaller, not that much. And I want this part to be like somewhere around here. Yeah, I really like this opening area in here. So I think I will make it like this. Maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, something like that. I think it looks good. And I would want to click on this check mark. I know it doesn't look that much for now, but we will fix this even more. So first we're gonna get rid of these areas in here. So I'm gonna create a layer mask on this and I'm gonna hit B again and I will delete this part in here. Also a little bit from this part to have more hair in this area and also in this area too. All right, and we'll delete everything from here. All right, I think it looks okay. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is actually to apply a hue and saturation for this uh, second blend that we have in here so I will go to adjustment and choose hue and saturation and I will clip it uh, by clicking on this clipping uh, mask icon and then I will choose colorize and here we're gonna try to match the same color with this that we have in these rocks so I will put a little bit of yellow maybe I will put up the saturation a little bit just like this Mm, maybe the lightness too. Yeah, I think we can leave it just like this. All right, now I will go back to the background layer and then I will double click on this color fill and I will sample color from this in here, something like this. And I will press OK. 
Now, I will make a new layer on top of everything by one click on this new layer icon and using a brush, I will hit B and I will sample the same color in here and let's make the hardness to like 90 and I will try to delete all these edges in here just like that I mean we're gonna blend everything together using adjustment layer so for now it's okay for them to look like this all right I think it looks good maybe I will play with the hue and saturation even more maybe put a little bit more yellow Yeah, I think it looks okay. All right, I think I like this. And I will go back to the layer mask and I want to delete a little bit from this part in here. So I like this fold that we have in here. So I will keep that part. And in the eyes too, maybe I will blend it even more. It's like blending with the eyes. Just like this. Alright, I think it looks good. We'll go back to the layer in here and we'll paint a little bit in this area. And I think it looks good. Now we will get rid of this edge that we have in here. So I will take all these blending layers that we have in here. So we'll select the hue and saturation. And then I'm gonna press shift and hold it and select the screen layer. And this will select them all. After that, I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command G and this will put them in a group and I will call this blend. And then I will apply a layer mask uh, in this group and using the same brush, I will delete from these edges in here and from everywhere else that I don't want it to be showing up. For example, in these areas in here. But I think now it looks better. And of course, I can always go back and change everything if I want to. But I really like this part in here, so I think I'm happy with this for now. Next, I want to add uh, like a, a sky in the background. But first, I think I'm gonna uh, crop it a little bit. In this area in here it's a little bit wider also in this part in here and I will one click on this check mark and then I will select the BG color fair and I will go back to my file and the sky I will be using is this one so I will take it and put it in here and it will be uh, on top of the, the BG color fill so I will press ctrl command T on the sky image and I will make it bigger somewhere like this and I will put it even higher or even on top maybe even bigger because I really like this area in here also like this little bird that we have in here we're gonna use it like with the other birds because of course we need to include the uh, birds so somewhere like this yeah I think it looks good like this just like this all right as you can see now we have a lot of edges that shown in here that we need to fix which is good that we put everything in a group I mean except for this one because this one is a fix so for this we're gonna change we're gonna select this uh, layer mask of the group and then again using the brushes we're gonna delete all from these parts that we don't want them to be shown also it will define our model even more so something like this i think it's good all right so for the the sky let me call it clouds 
I'm gonna just put down the opacity to like 50% or 60 just to give a little bit of uh, texture in here maybe I will put it a little bit down just like this all right and then I will apply a layer mask a white layer mask and then I will go to the gradient and I think for this one I'm gonna use the linear or the radio let's start with the, the linear and the black as my foreground color and also I have in here set it set to foreground to transparent all right so I'm just gonna go on top and one click and drag it's like this to have this gradient hiding all this fix that we have in here just like that maybe too much I will use the radio for this just like this all right I think it looks good just to have a little bit of texture in overall you can always go and delete from this part in here too all right something like that all right so I think I like this to have a little bit of something in the background all right so we're almost done now we only need to add uh, the birds so let's go to our birds folder so let's start with this one in here I will take it and drag it and for this one we're gonna put it on top of everything and then I will change the blending mode to multiply and I will press V to place it somewhere like in the middle I want these birds to be this one mainly to be in here yeah somewhere around here maybe rotate it a little bit yeah something like this and I will one click on this check mark and then I'm gonna press ctrl command L to use the level adjustment and I will darken it a little bit and then I will take the highlights or the whites and put more whites in the image it's like that to hide all this and I will press ok now I will apply a layer mask on this and using the same brush I will delete all these birds that I don't need and also all this sky that we have maybe we don't need this one or this one maybe we can keep this definitely we're gonna delete this one maybe this one too and I think I will delete only one of these birds in here so just like this all right something like that I think it looks good now we will go back to our file again and let's go with this one so again we will use the same technique we're gonna change it to multiply and then press ctrl command L to adjust the highlights to blend everything together maybe the mid tones too all right something like that and then I'm gonna press ctrl command T again and for those ones I'm gonna put them right here maybe a little bit smaller yeah somewhere around here I think they look good all right and the last ones I think it would be this one so I'm gonna take it and open it again and again change the blending mode to multiply press ctrl command L to open the level adjustment and adjust the highlights and the shadows maybe the mid tones too until the edges disappear yeah something like that and I will press ok and then ctrl command T 
and for this one I'll put them in the middle parts just like this. All right, something like that. And I think I need to press Control Command U this time and put down the saturation a little bit. Maybe play with the lightness. All right, something like that. And for this one, I'm gonna apply a layer mask on this third layer and I will delete these edges that we had. Yeah, in this part too. And maybe press Control Command L again and put them a little bit of the whites in here. All right, I think they look good. All right, now we're gonna group all the birds together. So I'm gonna select the first layer of the birds and pressing Shift and select the third layer in here. And then Control Command G to put them in a group. And now we want to, I want to actually make uh, some of them fade. So I'm gonna apply a layer mask on this group. Let me call it birds. And let me call this fix. All right, so using the same brush, I will select the birds layer. And for the brush, I'm gonna put the opacity to like 40% or 50%. And the flow too, I'm gonna put it like 50%. And I will start like fading some of these birds a little bit. They look like they are far away. Not all of them. All right, something like that. I think they look interesting. All right, so we're almost done. Now, the only thing that I want to add is uh, uh, an adjustment to top everything. Let me go back and fade this even more. All right. I mean, you can add uh, even more stuff. Maybe you can add some something in this void that you have in here. It will be interesting too. But for this tutorial, I think it's looking good. Now I'm gonna create a new layer on top and I will call this light. And then I'm gonna use the gradient for this. So press G for the gradient tool. And I'm gonna use the radio gradients in here. And then I will sample a color from the rocks maybe a light color and maybe I will just make uh, some lights in here maybe in this area I will one click and drag just like that and then I will change the blending mode to screen as you can see we have this uh, as a light coming from here and I will do the same for this let's see maybe this part That's a little bit of light. And maybe in this part too. And a little bit in here. Then I'll put down the opacity to like 60%. Just to have some lights, interesting lights in here. All right. All right, now I'm gonna go to adjustments again. And I will choose levels. And then I will uh, open the RGB in here and choose red. And using this black point, I will add a little bit of red. And a little bit of cyan. Maybe not that much. All right, so I will go to the blue channel. And I will add a little bit of blue too. And then a little bit of yellow, just to give this warm tones to the image. And then I will go to the RGB. And I will play with the midtones and highlights a little bit. Alright, something like that. So give it that Instagram 
look and also it looks warm it's a little bit all right now to finish uh, this up I mean we can apply a camera raw filter but I think it looks good like this so the only thing that I want to apply is a, a gradient map so we'll go and choose gradient map and then I will change the gradient color for the black stop I will choose this RNG to yellowish color something like this a bit brownish and for the white stop I will actually change the brightness to 50% to make it 50% gray and I will press OK and OK and then I will change the, the blending mode to soft light and as you can see how this enhance even more but I will put down the opacity to like 70% or 60% let's see yeah, like 50% it looks really really cool and I think I'm happy with this and that will be all alright so I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit uh, helpful for you if you try it, then make sure to let me know on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and leave a like. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching.